Hi, welcome to this Cobb Maths video on the area of any triangle. In this video, we're going to look at how to use the formula a half a b sine c to calculate the area of any triangle. So here we've got a triangle a, b, c. And if we wanted to find the area for this triangle, we could use the formula a half a times b times the sine of angle c. So in other words, if we have got two sides and the angle between them, we can find the area of a triangle by timesing the two sides together and half on it and timesing by the sine of the angle. So let's have a look at some questions now, but just before we do that, quite a lot of these questions will be on the calculator test. And one thing I just want to make sure is that your calculator is in the right mode. So if you look at your calculator display, just make sure that you've got a little D at the top of it. Uh, sometimes calculators, instead of having a D, may have an R or a G. Um, usually the calculator will have a D at the top, particularly if you've got maybe an older brother and sister who's, who's um, used your calculator for A-level maths, they quite often will have an R at the top. So what I'd recommend is if you don't have a D, you press the AC button, you press shift and then mode, and then press the number three. And when you press the number three, it'll put the D at the top. It's just making sure your calculator is in degrees mode. Okay, so let's have a look at our first example now. So our first example, we've got this triangle and the question says calculate the area of the triangle. So we've got the sides, uh, this side's got a length of 11 centimeters, this side's got a length of 12 centimeters, and the angle between it has got an angle or size of 30 degrees. So that means that we can work out the area of this triangle because we've got the two sides and the angle between them. So let's write down the formula. The area equals a half A, B, sine C. So that means that we're gonna substitute in those values. So the area equals a half, times a, well a is the length of one of the sides, let's call the side a, so 11, times b, that's the length of the other side, 12, and then times the sine of the angle, and the angle's 30 degrees, so sine 30. Now this actually, this question could be a non-calculator question, the sine of 30 is 0.5. So if I was doing this question without a calculator, I would probably do 11 times 12, and then half it and then half it again and that would give me the area for the triangle without a calculator but i'm going to show you how to do it on the calculator so what i would do is i would type that into the calculator um i could write in a half by the way there instead of writing 0.5 but i've just written 0.5 just because i did um, but you could write 0.5 or a half times 11 times 12 times the sine of 30 and when you do that you're going to get the answer of 33. And so that means that the area of this triangle is equal to 33 centimetres squared. And make sure you include the right unit, centimetres squared. And that's it, so that's the area of a triangle. So that formula, half AB sine C, will show you how, or will help you find the area of any triangle really quickly. Let's have a look at another example now. So this time we've got a triangle, we've got our lengths of the sides, 4.2 centimetres, 5.1 centimetres, and the angle between them is 100 degrees. So again, let's write down the formula. The area equals a half AB sine C. So substituting the values, a half, let's call this one A, so times by 4.2, multiplied by 5.1, and then times by the sine of the angle, and the angle is 100 degrees. And when we do that, we can type it into our calculator, so 0 0.5 times 4.2, times by 5.1, times by sine 100, and when we press equals, we get an answer of, 10.5472910. Now you might in the question want to round it to a suitable number of decimal places. So if I was doing this question, I'm right write down 10.55 centimeters squared to two decimal places. And that's it. So that formula, half AB sine C, is really useful to work out the area of any triangle. As long as you know two sides and the angle between them, you can use the formula to work out the area of the triangle.